guys, it's Megan, and I promise I'm not naked. I'm wearing a <laughs> strapless dress. Oh, what a way to start the video. Um, I just filmed a video doing this makeup look, and this lighting is horrible because it is nighttime. Um, but what can you do? Um, but I am wearing this gorgeous dress that I just got in the mail. Um, that I'm going to wear to an event and so I was doing like a trial run of my makeup and I love how my makeup turned out so much um but look at my vanity now this is basically what happens when I film anything um it's a disaster so <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of like a tornado, but um, I was going to clean that up, obviously, um, but since I am filming and I'm in a good mood, I was like, let's vlog, and tomorrow is Friday. Like, you guys are seeing this on the weekend, I think. I think I'm going to post this as my weekend vlog because Saturday and Sunday, I'm not sure how those days are going to go, um, so I thought I would start the vlog early and be sure to get some content for you guys so um i'm going to change but um i wanted to show you this dress first and <laughs> what you didn't see in the video is that i'm wearing literally slippers with socks i want to run a few errands i have some returns that i need to do and we haven't opened the advent calendar the harry potter lego one since the first day of december and i think it's the 9th Oh my god, it's literally the ninth. So we need to do that. Um, so I want to show you guys that and update you on whatever we get. Um, but I just am in a good mood. I was not in a like I wasn't in a bad mood today, but I was just very like blah. Um, and then all of a sudden I just got into this great mood and yeah, so not mad about it, but yeah, gonna clean up my vanity because yikes this is the first time i've had to like that i've used my new phone in my car this is so exciting i was like why is my music not connecting then it was pretty obvious <laughs> yay it worked okay so happy and what I really wanted to tell you guys and why I set up my camera is because I got um, one of the last purchases I made from like Black Friday and it's this purse from Coach and it is gorgeous. Like this isn't the best lighting because it's like nighttime, but it's like a smooth leather and then it has this chain that is, um, like you can use it as like a top handle which I really loved and you can't remove it it like stays on the bag no matter what and then it has these like magnetic slip pockets on either side which I think is so nice like literally it's like so so nice and then just a like zipper pocket in the middle and it's very like simple love this design the one thing is the zipper seems like a little like sometimes hard to close um but it's just like smooth on either side and then has this um chain and then it has a detachable um crossbody strap that is adjustable as well so i am loving this it's the first time i've taken it out um and since it is smooth leather that's like the least durable leather um so it is like a little bit of a like i don't know i'm just like a little more worried about it than other bags that i have but it's so so cute and i have been wanting like a white purse and that's the coach chalk um leather which is kind of like an off weight which i really really like it's more like a cream i guess and yeah so i'm using that i have my returns all the dry cleaner places were closing at six and it's like a few minutes till six so i'm just gonna have to go tomorrow i guess um and oh yeah i'm gonna get my starbucks so i think i'll do that last so i'm not gonna order it yet but yay <laughs> oh my god you guys i just did something so cringy um 
so I always forget like with scarves if you're wearing earrings that have like either like rhinestones or stones or whatever or like just hoops and a scarf it could get caught on it and like kind of fall out or like tug so that happened to me as I was getting out of my car and I was worried my earring had fell out so I <laughs> I used the car next to me's window as like a mirror, but it literally looked like I was like peering into it, like looking for something, I don't know what, like to burgle them or something. And of course someone walked right up to their car as I was doing that and I just like scurried away as fast as possible because I was literally just making sure my earring didn't fall out and it didn't, but oh my God. I always feel guilty about everything. But anyway, I just forgot how annoying earrings are. And like this third hole is still healing. So it's like tender and sensitive. So I'm like, this scarf was a bad idea kind of. But Target returns done, Nordstrom Rack now, and then Starbucks. All right, all my returns are done. Now we are going to Starbs and I am not getting out of this car again. It is freezing, so we are going through the drive-thru, which there shouldn't be a line because it's 6.30 at night. But um, while I've been running around, me and Alyssa have been texting because um, she really wants to go to the Olivia Rodrigo tour, and they had the like verified fan thing through Ticketmaster where you have to like sign up and then hope you get like invited to buy tickets basically and so we signed up and my mom and my sister signed up because every time I've done it like only one out of three or four people ever gets it. Hi welcome to Starbucks it's Josh how are you doing today? Hi good how are you? I am doing great what can I get for you? I actually placed a pickup order for Megan. Do you have an outside cold brew? Yes. Gotcha. And that's everything. All right you can pull ahead. Thank well, you. Yeah, the window. Okay. Um, so basically I figured one out of four of us at the very least would get like this stupid code. None of us got it. And like Alyssa's been having nightmares about this, like not being able to get tickets and stuff. I feel horrible. But there's like nothing you can do because there's not even like a public sale. It's literally only with this code for verified fan. So like it's possible we get taken off the wait list and are given a code at some point, which I assume would be like during the sale because how would they take us off the wait list until they know how many tickets are being sold? I have no idea, but it's just adding like stress to something that should be fun. And this is what I have not missed about like not having concerts, even though they're my favorite thing in the world. It's very, very stressful to buy concert tickets. And um, it's just not like a good process. Like even still, it's not a good process. And yeah, I was lucky I got Heim tickets pretty easily the other day when I like wanted to get them during the pre-sale, but even still they had issues like the pre-sale code wasn't sent out on time. I just guessed what the code would be and I was right. So that was really lucky. Um, but like with this, it's a unique code. So you can't just like guess. So who knows, hopefully we can get them but it's just really like not a fair system. Like they say that it's a more fair system, but I feel like just having it be public would be the most fair. <laughs> Cause I don't know how they really do it. Is it first come first serve? Cause what if like a million people signed up before us, then we never had a chance anyway. And you have to pick the date that you want to go to. And there's two Philly dates, but we, we really should have thought of this, but like, I didn't think that they would come down to this, but um, we all picked the same date because we would prefer the Saturday date, but half of us should have done one date and half of us should have done the other, but like, like, what did they say? Hindsight is twenty twenty. Like, even if we would have done that, we would have had half the chance 
to get a code for either who's to say we would have gotten it anyway so it just sucks all the way around and so she's like super bummed but like understands it's just the way it works but still it's like what there's no chance for us to go now unless we pay like through the resale market like that I feel like that's what they're trying to prevent that's what they say they're trying to prevent but almost feels like it encourages it so I don't know Hi. Uh, I had a pickup order. It's okay. <laughs> no worries. Thanks so much. You too. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll, I can't wait to see my face back in the video because I was like, 504? I thought I already paid. Um, but let me just pull over so I can tell you guys what I got because this is like my new go-to drink order i think i showed you guys it before but let me just show you it again so um i love the vanilla sweet cream cold brew and what i do is instead of the vanilla syrup i get the sugar cookie syrup and it is delightful it is absolutely amazing oh yeah and i still get the vanilla sweet cream like in the drink so there's still like that vanilla flavor but then the sugar cookie syrup has like a slightly more like toasted marshmallow caramely type of flavor and it's amazing so that's what i got and mostly i get it to save for the next day so i'm just gonna sip a little bit of that but then save the rest for tomorrow and then i'm just so thankful tomorrow's friday this week felt like it was a month like literally this week every day felt like a whole week in and of itself so i'm so glad tomorrow's friday and should be a pretty easy friday as well um we're having like a holiday event um like at lunch like a lunch holiday thing and i set up a game that's like um Christmas or holiday music um, and people because it, it's all virtual people are gonna like type in the chat like the name of the song and the artist and whoever gets the most right wins like a prize so I've been listening to that playlist that I put together and it's like such a good playlist because it's like all the iconic holiday songs so yeah I'm just looking forward to that but all of a sudden i just got really tired so time to head home and get nice and cozy and never leave the house again <laughs> mom and rach made dinner tonight pork chops with sauteed vegetables and mashed potatoes and i made drinks so we have the trader joe's sugar plum sparkling beverage with tito's vodka and it is delightful all right let's do this harry potter lego advent calendar we have to open days two through nine. <laughs> <laughs> Harry! <laughs> Cute. Harry. 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 To Harry. <laughs> oh, do you want me to open Yeah, them? let's just oh, open okay. all of them and then we can build. Three. Uh, Fireplace? I guess. Okay. Something. <laughs> let's see uh, where four is. Oh, up there. there. Oh, some mail. Ooh. <laughs> Five. A, a white present. <laughs> Something. We'll see what that is. <clears throat> We're going to open the whole thing. Oh. Neville. <clears throat> is it Neville? <laughs> yeah, I think that's when they stupefy oh. him. <laughs> that poor Neville. Oh, oh wow. That might be like Hogsmeade yeah, or something. Yeah, it like says something, but I can't read it. Oh, like a table. Oh, that's probably like um the, that bar. The three broomsticks. Yeah. And nine. Oh, there. Ooh, oh, that's like the, the secret wall. passageway. Okay, cool. we'll get to building and then show you guys. So, Rach has a good point that she thinks this is Dudley, actually, not Neville because this is the scene where all the letters and stuff are coming into their house at Privet Drive. And then show that, show that. Mm. Oh, this is the most amazing thing ever. Oh, you're a wizard, Harry. Happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> oh my so God, cool. so this is like the first book. 
Yeah, I think so. Because they then also they go... have, yeah, this really cool build where it literally fits together perfectly and then you open it and you go into the Wizard, Wizard World. World. And then we have the Leaky Cauldron, like an actual sign, and then like a table with butterbeer. Is that where he meets that professor? Yeah, Coral. Okay. Okay. Yeah. With Hagrid. Yeah. Oh, I wish they would give us Hagrid in this. Right? That'd be cool. Oh, so this is... We had so much fun doing all these builds, and so maybe we'll wait another eight days, because it's fun it to do once. it a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, that is our Harry Potter Lego advent calendar. Hey, you guys! I'm all decked out in Christmas attire. I have my light up stitch ugly sweater on. Oh my gosh, I feel so festive. And we just had a holiday party at work. I thought everyone would be dressed up like almost no one was. <laughs> so <laughs> that was hilarious. Everyone complimented my um, festiveness, especially the hat. And I don't know if you can tell, but it does light up. Um, and now I have horrible hat hair because this hat is a little too small for my head. So I really had to shove it on and now my hair is ruined. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to shower or just commit to the Santa hat the rest of the day. But <laughs> I just wanted to say hey and check in and um, yeah, it was really fun. We, it was all virtual. And like I said, I did like a, um, music game where I like curated a playlist and um, people would type in the chat the name of the song or the name of the artist and get a point for each of those and then the winner got a gift card so everyone had so much fun it was a lot like more interactive and fun than I thought it would be so if you have any sort of virtual event party like anything like that playing like a name that song game was really really fun and like got people like moving and stuff and just like enjoying like listening to music and like spending time together and it's a game so people get really into that so now i'm going to try to power through the rest of the day at we didn't get olivia tickets i'm so like upset um but kind of expected that since we didn't get the codes but this afternoon <laughs> twice tickets are going on sale which is one of rachel's favorite k-pop groups and they like never come to the states um and they're only coming to five locations next year so we're gonna try to get tickets to see them on long island and even my dad wants to go like normally he's like whatever but like it's such a rare occurrence that they ever come here that it's like extra special so we're gonna try to get tickets for those in a few hours but for now i'm going to power through my emails and just try to make the most of <laughs> this afternoon you guys i just got a surprise package in the mail that was so unexpected and so funny so like it's so generous but it's funny to me because we were just recently talking about these um me and my mom and sister and patchology sent me crocs oh my god they have a fuzzy lining and i think this is so smart like such a smart design you can either wear it on the back of your like heel or you can push it up and I'm gonna wear these as like slippers and then you can wear them outside too. But I've always wanted to try Crocs and now I get to. So thank you so much to Petrology. That was such an exciting surprise and now I'm gonna wear them the rest of the day and like forever. Oh. One minute left on the waiting list. Dad's even here. He's not worrying about the tickets. He's checking his email. But Rachel's here too. And oh my gosh, I wish they counted down the seconds because... Ah! I her face. <laughs> In other words. Megan's more nervous than I am. I mean, this is intense. This is like mm. once in a lifetime. My clock says three. three. And then the, we're going to be added to like a queue. So... I wonder how many people will be in front of us. Right. Oh, God. Can you see our screens, our dual screen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dad was the OG family vlogger. <laughs> it's still so 
Russell Wilson a minute, except it should be mm, zero. Zero. Oh, show her his dad. I'm in the I'm queue. not in the waiting room, or I'm not in the queue yet, so you're our, our hope. Shit. What is Yeah, 2,000. Look! What look! Is, that means how many people are in front of you? Yeah. Yeah, look. Holy mine is shit. more than 2,000, so you have the best chance. Great! Okay. That would be even more we, nervous. Yes, yeah, it'll be fine. But how many people are... Well, we don't know. <gasps> okay. Alright. Wish us luck. Oh my god, you got <laughs> <laughs> We're so scared. I know. Okay. We're Dad has sweating. the seating chart on it. Mm -hmm. Mine still says over 2,000 people to All go. Right. Your thing did move a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you can see some progress. Oh, that's good. My hands are sweating. <laughs> We're going to try to get like the center of the floor, well, if right, possible. Right. Well, what happens, yeah, what happens if it's only over here? You're still <laughs> it gonna shouldn't buy be them? all the way over well, there by now. Know. What are you guys gonna do? We'll, we'll see what there is. We're having a horrible, horrible time trying to get these tickets. Everyone on Twitter is like freaking out too, and Rachel's been trying, we've been at this for 55 minutes. Yeah, and nothing has changed. Yeah. Thankfully, my thing, I'm almost at the front of the queue, but there's still 1,200 people in front of me, including her. Right? <laughs> because she can't escape. I can't leave. You're Do you in want purgatory. to show my screen? Yeah. Of like, this is so evidence. first off, this is the official plan of tickets that are $500, and $300. Oh, yeah. And they should be like, way they never cheaper. were that much until like 30 now. minutes in. And now if I click it and click next, sorry, we can't process your request. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Then I try a different one and I click next. Yeah. Same thing. I yeah. able to process the request on this device. But you're not allowed to log into two devices in mm -hmm. Ticketmaster or else it kicks you out. Yeah, they so think you'll you're lose your spot. So it's like, well, I can't do anything mm -hmm. then. At least now, before I was clicking the next button and nothing was happening. Yeah, that was At bad. least now I'm clicking and I'm getting an error. <laughs> but like... <gasps> I'm 99. Okay, I'm our only hope. I thought Rachel was our only hope, but now I'm our only <laughs> hope. Great. Well, you guys, it's 5 p.m. We still don't have tickets. I have been actively trying. Um, I'm getting out. Oh, gosh, this lighting is horrible. I've been um, trying this whole time, and then I had to, like, stop because... I just can't. So I just was looking through our screenshots because we took a bunch of screenshots throughout the process and the tickets literally have gone up two to ten times the price that they originally were. And we were in like the very first minute and like we tried to get anything we possibly could and nothing mattered like nothing no matter if we picked the nosebleeds like better seats it, we couldn't get anything so um i'm taking to twitter and seeing what ticketmaster has to say about this because it's just really disgusting to me that there are tickets available now but they are over like 500 dollars like even for bad seats they're ridiculous and it's just really disturbing to me and I don't like seeing that type of thing be like ignored or just like whatever it is what it is like I don't think that is how it can like should be or like I don't know I feel like they need to be accountable for that because it's so like just horrible to do that to people and um like everyone online either found like tickets which <laughs> i'm jealous and i'm trying like to be happy for them but i like really can't right now um or they're in the same boat as us where they tried like as much as they possibly could but ended up with nothing so um i just put like a <laughs> side by side of the prices like 30 minutes apart where it was at first the original price was less than 200 per ticket and then it was a thousand five hundred per ticket um like that is just horrible that is so horrible to me like the same row the same section like I don't think it was the same row it was like the same section anyway you guys we'll see if we can get tickets eventually 
but this just sucks. Adds a bad taste in our mouths. Like even if we get to go, it's like, it wasn't a good experience to get to that point. So we'll see. We're gonna start watching the new Hawkeye show on Disney Plus and I don't know if you can see, but that dog has like a Santa hat on. So I don't know if it's like partially set during the holidays or something, but we're gonna see how this goes. I'm still so bitter that he survived and Black Widow died. So I'm very skeptical about this show, but <laughs> I think it probably will still be good. The first episode of Hawkeye was really weird. <laughs> Like, I was so confused, and, um, we don't have time to watch another one, like, all together, so we're gonna just, like, stick with the one for tonight, but not too sure about it, but that's how I feel about, like, pretty much all the Marvel shows that have come out. I'm just, like, mm, like, just not my fave, but, um, I'm gonna wind down by reading this book, which is so so good. Um, I'm not super far into it, um, but this is Sadie by Courtney Summers, and it's like a podcast um, style of like every other chapter, and they're like doing an investigation into this missing girl, and then we have the other chapters where it's through Sadie's perspective, who is like the missing person and it is so vivid and like so well developed like these characters are like crystal clear in my mind like I can picture everything that's going on like it makes sense like it is so so good like I understand her motivations and I don't want it to end like I'm kind of taking it slow and only reading like a chapter to a day because I love it so much and that like does not happen a lot even though I read a lot like this is a special book already um so I'm just going to read a chapter or so some of them are pretty long so that also helps kind of pace pace the reading I would say um but that is what I'm gonna do tonight. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to wrap up this vlog here, but I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you're all doing really well and I'll see you really soon. Bye.